Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Codis Arcade. In today's video, I will be showing you how to store items into a list according to their respective data types. Before starting this video, I would like to request you people to please like and share our videos with your friends and family. And also, please subscribe to our channel Codis Arcade and press the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest updates and you do not miss out on our future videos. Thank you. So let's get started. As I said, today's topic is how to store items into a list according to their respective data type. So as you can see here, I'm inside my PyCharm ID. Let me go to my project panel. And here in my Codus Arcade directory, I will go to my workspace, which is the subdirectory. And here I will create a new Python file. So let the name be storing items into lists that's it so let me just minimize this project window so that i can show you the entire screen now let me initially create a list of mixed items so let me name the list as mixed list is equal to there may be any kind of data say characters suppose b and then say boolean values say false then integers say nine and then decimals say 2.678 you can take any other example also no problem and then let us take some names, say John, and then let us take the name of any river, say Nile, and then let us take another Boolean value, say true, and let us take another one, say the name of any week, day, which is say Sunday, followed by one exclamation mark. So this much is enough, I guess. And now let us create four empty lists and depending on those empty lists, I will extract the data from this mixed list and store them into those empty lists depending on their data type. So let the list be say strings is equal to it will be an empty list. And then let us take the second one to be float or floats is equal to another empty list. And then the third one, let it be the Boolean values is equal to another empty list. And finally, the fourth one, which is the integers is equal to another empty list. Now this is done. So in order to store these values inside the mixed list into these empty lists, what we need to do is we need to iterate over the mixed list. So for that, we will use a for loop. So I will use the for loop for data, which is the loop variable, which will iterate over the mixed list in mixed list. I will take the colon. And here I will use the if and else statements, but we have more than one type of data. Therefore, we have to use the nested if else or which can be called the if and elif. So if we have to use the type keyword type, then data equal equal to, we have to use keywords here so that we can store them in their respective empty lists. So first of all, let me take str for string data type and then what I will do is I have to store that string data into the strings empty list. So I have the method append in lists. I will use that. So strings dot as soon as I press dot you can see I have the append option which will add this item to the strings empty list. So what should I append to the list? 
I should append the data. So that's it. This will append the string data into the respective list. And now I have the second condition. So it will be elif. So type of, sorry, type data equal equal. Let the second one be int for integers. Then it will be integers dot the append dot append and here same thing the data will be appended so this is for the second one now let us move on to the third condition which is the elif type of data let us take float equal equal float then again the same thing it will be appended to the floats empty list floats dot append same method and then we will append the data so this is also done what if there is any other kind of data for that let us take one more lib block where i will say type of data we have covered three that is string int and float and i have taken one more type of data you can see here false and true which are the boolean values so equal equal bool which is the keyword for boolean values then it will be updated into the boolean empty list so boolean dot append and data so this is also done and now let us go on to the else block of code where if the data type present in the mixed list is different from all these four types of data type then I will print that this kind of data is not recognized by the compiler. So here I will write else and then I will print sorry data type cannot be recognized. So this is also done. Now after that, what we need to do is, let us see what actually gets stored in the strings, floats, booleans and the integers, empty lists. For that we can print our empty lists. Now they will be stored with some values, right? Let us print those lists so that we can see the values. So I will use the print method. Or the function then here I will use the formatted string and let me just print the original data first and here I have to use the placeholder so that I can call my mix list so this is the original data and after that let me provide the escape sequence slash n so that I can give the control to the next line so this is done now let me print all the lists one by one so print using the formatted strings string values are and inside the placeholder I will call my strings so this is done and let me give the control to the next line so that it looks good after that let me just copy this line of code so that I don't have to write it again and again. So here let me change it. Float. Float values are and here I have to call my floats list and after that let me again paste it here and here I will tell about the boolean values boolean values are and here I have to call my boolean list so boolean that's it so this is done now this is the entire code let me just run this so that I can show you the output I will right click here and run this so this is the output guys this was the original data or the original list we had character b then false then the integer 9 
then the flute 2.678, then John, then Nile, then True, then Sunday. True was the Boolean value. These were strings, Sunday, Nile, and John. Now you can see in the string values list, we have B, John, Nile, and Sunday. These are the string values. Then the float values are, we have only one float value, which is 2.678. That's why we are getting only one here. And the Boolean values are, you can see here, false and true. So this code is working perfectly. And this is a very easy method to store data into respective lists according to their respective data type. So this is the entire code. I hope you have understood. If you guys have any doubt regarding the execution of this code, you can please post them in our comment section. I will be very happy to clarify those doubts. And if you guys like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and press the bell icon so that you get notified about our latest updates. Thank you. So this much for today. See you in our next session. Thank you and happy learning.